I just got a really good question um, from somebody asking if you're allowed to kick your spouse out of your marital bed. And the answer to that is absolutely not. Um, I understand it's frustrating at times and, you know, people get a little testy and temperamental. But kicking people out is not the answer. When you're in hard times where you're arguing and having um, problems, you're supposed to turn to God for that. Um, if you were too upset to pray together, go to separate corners in the house and pray um, and have faith that God does is not the one that's attacking your marriage. It's the devil. And the more you feed into that by doing things like kicking spouses out of the bed or out of the home, using children to hurt each other and other family members, using family to threaten each other and do that type of thing, the more you're feeding into doing the devil's work. And what our goal is, is to reconcile marriage and to get people to come back together so that we all, when we're called home, can be embraced by God and hear those wonderful, wonderful words. Um, well done, my faithful servants, when you are called home. And part of that is absolutely respecting the marital bed and not kicking your spouse out. That's wrong. The Bible also says we're not supposed to go to bed angry. So, you know, people make mistakes. And I understand some people make really big mistakes. But in the end, as long as you forgive one another and try your best to put the past mistakes where they are in the past and move forward and agree to um, reconcile peacefully, when you do have hard times, turn to God and trust what I tell you. It's so much better than breaking up with somebody that you know you're not supposed to break up with because of your marital vows and defiling those vows by going to other people because you're not changing the pro or fixing the problems that God has placed in front of you that you need to fix. He's going to keep putting those same issues, just a different face in front of you until you fix the issues that God has for you so that you can complete his purpose. When you ignore fixing those issues, you just postpone it. And then you make it harder for you and your actual spouse to reconcile and to live in harmony. It doesn't do anybody any good for you to separate, um, that's the worst, absolute worst thing that you can do um, for your marriage is to separate and stay apart. Um, I recommend for everyone, just because of the simple fact of the word, and I have an understanding as to why um, God wants all of us to um, respect the marital bed and to stay with our spouses, with God's love. He does not mean for any of us to be alone. And I do have an understanding for that. So for those of you who were, who were trying to um, leave your spouses, that's the wrong thing to do. Turn to God about it. With God's love. God bless America. Have a blessed day.